What's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family, man. The Young Turks picked the wrong one. They pulled up on this young black dude by the name of Terrence K. Williams, and they asked him, what's so good about Trump? Ah! Y'all about to hear it for yourself. He went in. Tell me, what is it that excites you about Donald Trump? I am ready to have a president who can complete a sentence again, okay? I'm ready for a president who can save this country. And this is why I'm here supporting President Trump. He's done so much for the black community. He's done way more for the black community than any other president. Can you, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, what is it? What did it? he do? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be here all day. We're going to be here all day. OK, first of all, when President Trump was in office, uh, black home ownership was up over 30 oh. percent. Uh, black, black, uh, uh, black unemployment was at an all time low. Oh. Black unemployment for teenagers was at an was at an all time low, all time okay. low, his historic low. He gave so much money to black historic colleges. Wait, I mean, actually, they didn't even. There was a time when they had to beg every president for money. President Trump said, "You don't have to beg anymore. I'm going to give y'all an unlimited amount of money, so you don't have to keep knocking on every president's door begging for money for help." Thanks. President Trump did that. Not Barack Obama, not the first black president. President Trump did way more for black people than any other president. Hold on, and he not finished. And President Barack Obama, first mixed president. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. At me if you want to uh, listen. I'm, I look inside the comment section, but he not done. Oh, he not done. I, and I can be here all day, but I, I have to go to my seat pretty soon as, to hear the president speak. If he were to lose again, what would that mean for black America? What would that mean for South Carolina? Well, if President Trump, well, I mean, to lose again. Um, what would it mean for you to? Well, actually, what it, what, it, what it would mean for America, I think America will be doomed. Look at what's going on in this country. We, we are losing our country right now. This country is, is, is literally in shambles. People don't feel it right now, but if, we, if President Trump does not win in November, I believe America is headed toward a depression. I think America will, I don't think I will recognize this country anymore. I'm starting not to recognize America anymore. We don't, we don't have leadership in this country. We don't have anybody, and we don't have a leader who cares about the American people who put us first. Facts. So when you talk about that American people first, what about the Biden presidency? Do you see not putting America first? What? what? Biden, it's clear he doesn't put America first. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. Like, what has he done since he's been in office besides eat ice cream cones, <laughs> besides mumble, besides have a hard time reading a teleprompter, besides having a hard time trying to complete a sentence? He can't even complete a sentence. So he can't even come. Com so he can't. He doesn't protect the border. You got illegal immigrants just coming into this country. And then he had the nerves to tell Texas to stand down and let illegal immigrants come into the state of Texas. That is sus. That's sus. And if you don't know what sus is, Google it. Google it. That's sus. Why in the hell we got just people all over the place? That's like somebody call the, what you call the people that come over and clean, they, they spray for bugs, exterminator, and you got roaches all over the place, all over the place. Your house just looking a mess. And, and the owners of the house like, no, I, I, I kind of like it. Go ahead, just, just, let them, just let them go and do what they're doing. Just got to let them go do what they're doing. As a matter of fact, we're having a party next week, and it would be lovely to have more. It would be amazing to have more. Come on, man. He's like, no, just let them come on over. We want more. Oh, come on, we got more. Didn't I think, I, I, I heard that we was trillions of dollars in debt. How in the hell? We got all this money to give to these migrants. How the hell 
can we house them? How the hell can we clothe them? How the hell are we paying for all their Medicare? How the hell can we pay for all this extra overtime policing that we need for them because of all of the crimes that they are committing? How? You know what? We'll talk about this after Cousin T is done. And I live in Texas. And, and he evidently has never heard of the saying, don't mess with Texas. Actually, don't mess with the American people. Okay? You are either with us or you are against us. And Joe Biden is against the American people. He do not put us first. He put illegal immigrants first. That's who he's putting first. They're talking about giving millions of dollars, loading millions of dollars on, 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 on credit cards, on debit cards, credit cards, money cards, and giving it out to illegal immigrants so they can buy groceries, so they can buy shoes and clothes and feed their families. What about the veterans? What about the children in America who need help? I come from the foster care system. There are a lot of foster care kids who need help in this country, but they are being ignored because we have a man in office or we have a resident in office who is focusing on helping out people who are not supposed to be in this country in the first place. Well, at least he's going to eat fried chicken with black families. I, I seem to do that. And, and at least he's bringing all of the famous black rappers to the White House, you know, to try to get that black vote. And he's also taking trips to the black churches as well and trying to act like he grew up in a black church and he was he started the civil rights movement and he's this, this, and he did that. This dude is even lying about not having, not being a part of or not being responsible for the crime bill in the 90s. This dude, man, it's, uh, bless his heart, man, but we don't have a leader. A leader should be able to sit across from another leader and talk business. Can you tell me right now that you believe that Joe, <laughs> President Joe Biden can sit across from any of these leaders and talk business, negotiate, talk to them with like a man, upright, strong, for hours until they come to a solution? The answer is nah. The answer is nah. When Trump was here, this dude was going over to going Korea and making things happen. He was going over to Russia, making things happen, going over to China, making things happen. And guess what? Guess what didn't happen? There was no wars. But what's going on now? You know what, Cousin T, you go ahead and finish, brother. I'll talk later, but you got the floor. When you say resident, what, what do you mean by resident? <laughs> when I, resident? He's a resident. He's not a president. To me, I, I can't. He's a resident. He's just living at the White House. That's, he's just a resident at the White House. He's so, just living there. Well, who's running the country then? Barack Obama. Everybody else that he works for, that the president works with and for. Probably another country. We can go on and on. I'm just saying, this dude is being bullied at the highest levels. People are, they realize that they have an incompetent supervisor at the warehouse and the employees are going to party all day. That's what they're going to do. They have an incompetent manager at the warehouse. <laughs> Not the White House, the warehouse. Like Costco. And they just partying, baby. They just doing whatever the heck they want to do. They snorting cocaine. Have y'all ever found a baggie of cocaine in the daggone White House? Have you? Have y'all ever seen a president who has a son that not only got caught inside of the hotel with a gun and hookers and smoking crack, but he's doing business and receiving gifts from other countries? Huh? Have we ever seen a president whose family members all started businesses that they're funneling money through? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. I've never seen anything like this before. And if you have, please let me know. And if Trump did something like that, let me know. Oh, I know Trump is worse because he said he's going to grab somebody by the That's much worse. He said he's going to build a wall. That's much worse. He made fun of a disabled guy. That's much worse. He said he don't like when people get caught. That's much worse. Come on, man. Grow the hell up, guys. I, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe one of his friends. 
may, is sure not Kamala Harris. Uh, she can't do nothing but laugh. So it got to be one of his friends, maybe Barack Obama. I don't know. Somebody else is pulling the strings, but it's not him. Former President Trump, if he's convicted on any of these 91 indictments by a jury, not by a judge, mm -hmm. but by a jury, would that give you pause about supporting his campaign for president? Hell no. I don't give a if he's convicted of 2,099 crimes. I'm voting for President Trump because those are all made up crimes. Those are all made up charges. This man is in his 70s. In his 70 years of living, he's never been convicted of anything. So now all of a sudden, excuse my language, but we see through the BS. We see through it. And I know there are people in my family who did not vote for President Trump. And it was hard for me to convince them. I don't, and I could not convince them at all. And I went back to visit some of them. And they, the, the media and these crooked Democrats have convinced them to vote for President Trump because they see right through the BS. And they see that Joe Biden has not done anything for this country. They can see it. They can feel it. They can feel it when they go to the grocery store and they have to scramble to find change, to find money to pay for eggs and milk. I, President Trump doesn't even have to convince anybody to vote for him because the Joe, Joe Biden is what he's doing right now, is, which is absolutely nothing. He is helping President Trump by not doing a thing. Vice President. And our country is supposed to be one nation under God. How are we one nation under God, but our president is removing God from everything? But he's not only is he removing God from everything, but he's installing debauchery into everything. So he will remove God and he will replace it with debauchery. We've never seen anything like this before in our country, guys. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a buck. The way I grew up, I don't have any family members that I was close to or that I know of closely who fought for the country, who was like, yeah, American flag, yes. No, I, I didn't. I was one of those hood boys, you know what I mean, that voted blue no matter who, that believed everything that they were saying. I didn't know, I didn't know the backstory about welfare. I didn't know the backstory about Jim Crow. I didn't know who was responsible for, for all that. I didn't know which party was fighting the hardest for slavery not to end. Come on now. I didn't know how detrimental the civil rights movement was. I thought that white people let me know that, yeah, you do deserve reparations. You do deserve more rights because you are inferior. Wow. That's what this whole party is about. So for people to only talk about these indictments is a weak, weak, weak argument. It's a weak argument. He got indictments. He was responsible for the insurrection. I know for a fact that far more people died under Joe Biden's watch than Trump's. I know for a fact. So miss me with all that stuff. But what about those indictments? He's a criminal. He shouldn't be able to run for president. What about that? You'll still vote for him then? Or what, you want me to vote for Biden? After all he's done against this country? Come on, man. You got to be deaf, dumb, and blind to vote for this dude again. And he's getting people back on it by playing theatrics, by, by putting Hollywood up on a stage to act a fool and completely disregard all of the BS that's going on. These people see what's going on. Everybody see what's going on. But they're acting like they don't care. They're putting their blinders on. They're putting on their earmuffs. And they're la, 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 la. I don't see it. I don't see it. What about the indictments that Trump got? I don't care. Whatever. He said, he said shit whole countries. I don't care. He's racist. I don't care. I don't want to hear anything. What about the indictments? What about the insurrection? What about? What about? Come on now. It's nothing that Trump did that's worse than what's going on right now. I don't care. You name one thing. Name one thing. I want a Democrat, a liberal, or anybody that's objective that's thinking about, okay, well, let me think. 
he did grab somebody by the For every person that Trump grabbed by the Joe Biden has sniffed 30 kids. I'm sorry. Cousin T, go ahead and finish what you say. President, he has a short list out now. Vivek Ramaswamy, Tim Scott, Ron DeSantis, Tulsi Gabbard, a former Democrat, uh, Byron Donalds, congressman from Florida. Is there one that you like among that group? Well, speaking of short lists, we might offend the, the, the short community by saying short list, okay? Well, <laughs> so they, that's what he's calling we, it. We don't want to offend the short community. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I, I will trust that he chooses the right person. I will trust that anybody he chooses, I'm all on board. He, the short list, there's some great names on there. I mean, Dr. Ben Carson is great. Brian Donalds is great. Uh, uh, Vivek, he's great. Is there anything that he could do in your estimation that would lose your support for him? No, no, no. Just like that. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm laughing because I know some people, I know the trolls and, and, and the haters who see this, they're going to say all oh, Terrence is in a cult. I care about this country, okay? I do not care what he is doing in his personal life. I don't care about any of that. I care about this, this, I care about this country being saved. So there is literally nothing he can do for me, the, uh, listen, nothing at all, nothing at all. There's nothing, I can't think of one thing. Trump can go into Walgreens right now and steal some stuff and I'll still vote for him because one thing he's gonna do is save this country, okay? Now, I would ask him to return what he stole from Walgreens and <laughs> after you do that, get back to saving this country. Let me tell y'all something. If you're not picking up what he's putting down, then you ain't got no hands. Facts. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below if you have yet to hit that subscribe button. What the heck are you waiting for, man? I'm trying to move us toward 1 million subscribers. See y'all in the next video. Peace.